So while the sound is getting set up, I think we should uh, kick off in interest of your time. So uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, everyone had a good keynote session in the morning? OK. Today, I'm going to talk about enabling continuous delivery in enterprises with testing, what that really means. And this is a case study of a project that I was working on, how we got onto the path of enabling CD in one of the enterprises. A very quick introduction about myself. I'm Anand Bagmar. I'm working with ThoughtWorks since five and a half years now. Been in the <laughs> testing field for about 17, 18 years. I love testing. Anything related with testing, I would love to get involved with. I have been getting involved with. Enough about me. There's my Twitter hashtag over here, as well as some information how you can uh, find more you know, contact details about myself from the About Me page. OK, so enough about myself. This is really about what you're here for. And before I start off on my rant of what I think the content is, I would like to know from you guys, what do you expect from this particular session? How you can continuously deliver. How you can continuously deliver, OK? Well, that's a very loaded uh, statement, but we'll try to address that in some ways. OK, so testing is sort of part of the DevOps cycle, uh, and how is that really related, seeing that? Any other thoughts? What is the standard and, uh, Sorry. OK, so infrastructure requirements and other performance-related aspects when coming to continuous delivery, and how does testing fit into that, right? There was some uh, thoughts. Challenges with continuous delivery. Oh. Okay, and how do you manage the dependencies around that? Okay. What is the role of testing in continuous delivery? Okay. To make sure you're actually continuously delivering and not delivering one thing and breaking what has been delivered earlier. Okay, so in enterprises, maybe some sections of that enterprise are in the CD, on the path to in, 